So the most important about bike riding, it is for you to be able to understand the components and the mechanism of your bicycle. As you can see, I use my bicycle for cardio. I have a little belly fat. However, no need to worry because I'm using the bicycle to burn some body fat. This is a mountain bike. As you can see in the front, you have on the left, the brake for the front, and on the right, the brake for the back of the bicycle. On the left hand side, you have the control to change your gears. And on the right side, you have also controls to change the gears on your bicycle. The controls on your left will control the big wheel. And the controls on the right will control your rear gear. Right now I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. These are the controllers for the front gears. These are the controllers for the rear gear. So what I'm talking about, these are your gears, your front gears and your rear gears. As you can see, if you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you have seven gears. Then in the front, you have one, two, and three. That means that seven times three is 21. This is a 21 speed bicycle. So the way it works, over there in your controller, this is one, gear one, gear two, gear three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four are your lightest gear. Five, six, seven are heavier gear. So if you're going uphill, you want to use your light gears. And if you're going downhill, you want to use the heavier gears that you want to maintain the chain as straight as possible from front to rear so usually you're going to stay on the second gear right here and stay between three four and five okay so again if you're using the big wheel you're going to use the gears here, the small gears. If you're in the middle, you want to stay somewhere here. And if you use the little wheel, then you're going to stay right here on the top. And the idea again is, so your chain is straight and your chain does not suffer any unnecessary stress. The chain may come off or the chain may break. It is very important that when you change your gears, you are pedaling, okay? If you're not pedaling it, the chain is gonna come off. The next thing that you wanna do when you want to enjoy your ride, you need to make sure that your seat is completely level. When this bubble is in the center, that means that your seat is level. To do that, your bicycle must be completely straight. You put the level on top and you make sure that that seat is straight. If your seat is not straight, you're going to experience discomfort in this area and in your back area. And you're not going to enjoy your ride. So it is very important that you level your seat and you move your handles up and down depending on your body size. A few more things that I'm going to show you is when you are riding your bicycle up and down the street, your shoulders may feel a little stress 
and you may begin to feel pain in your upper body, okay? You may also experience pain in your legs or in your hips. So I'm gonna show you certain things that you can do while riding your bicycle so you can also relax those muscles. So once you, once you understand the components and the mechanism of your bicycle, now you're ready to ride, okay? I'm gonna show you the standing position so you can rest your shoulders and the sitting position releasing one arm and then the other one so you can relax your muscles in your shoulder okay so pay attention so as you can see what I did there, I release one handle and I relax my arm, then I release the other one and I release, I relax my arm. Then I stood up on the bike and at that same time, I moved my body forward and that allowed me to relax my body to continue uh, for a longer ride. Now that you understand the mechanism and the components of your bicycle, you can go for a ride. So, to summarize this, you have the front brake, the rear brake. You have the front gears and the rear gears, okay? You change the gears depending on the road, if you're going uphill or if you're going downhill. Okay, so it's very important that you learn and understand how the bicycle works. If you have any questions in regards to your bike, you let me know. And I'll be teaching you... If you have, if you have any questions in regards to your bike, or how to use it, uh, how to adjust something on your bike, ask me any questions and I'll be able to help you. So, thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And again, if you have any questions in regards to bicycles, I can share with you what I know. I'm not by any means an expert, but I know a little bit more than probably the average person. Uh, use it to burn some fat and use it to work out and uh, feel good about yourself. Good luck, have fun with your bike, and be safe.